guys, welcome to another episode with Peter and I. Today we're going to take you to some of our favorite noodle spots around Auckland city. It's actually winter here now in Auckland and there's nothing better than a delicious bowl of noodles, especially when they're handmade. So for the very first spot, we're going to take you to Xi'an, which is one of our local favorites. Next up, Yong's, which also makes hand-pulled noodles, very delicious. And we're going to go to a place that our friend has recommended, Udon Works. Lastly, Go Go Music Cafe, where they make Da Pan Ji, a giant noodle dish. Let's go get it. So for this very first stop, it's Xi'an Food Bar. It's located on the corner of Beach Road and Anzac. It's so popular, it's got multiple locations around Auckland, but this one's our favorite. They make delicious handmade noodles. These noodles are fantastic. They're super springy and they've got that fantastic bite to it. And the saltiness from the little pork and the pickles. Now there's chili oil in here, but you can't actually taste the chilliness or spiciness at all. And it's just a very nice, delicious, warm, salty noodle dish. I have got a bubbling pot of goodness right in front of me. This is the mince with a fried egg on top. All very reasonably priced. Yen's dish was only $10.50. My dish was $11.50. It will fill you up and for a great deal. Get in for some of these noodles. The instant good food fix. Noodles here are lovely. They have a slight vinegary flavor. And then of course you've got that chili oil that also layers on top with that extra bit of heat. The noodles themselves, just that nice bouncy texture. The mince, salty, egg, perfectly fried. If you guys like good food and noodles, you should definitely come check out Xi'an Food Bar. Like this place we've been coming to is saying for so many years because we used to live nearby, still work quite nearby. And I always get this one dish, it's number 29 on the menu. I don't even need to let the people know what I want, they just know it's number 29. <laughs> Yeah, definitely come check this place out. We're just heading over to our second stop right now. It's called Yong's Hand Pool Noodles. Noodles. Yep, it's really close by. It's also in the city. It's on Elliott Street. We just ordered our noodles. I get number 12, that's my absolute favorite, and Peter gets number 17. Yong's hand pulled noodles is definitely one of our other favorite places to get noodles. Why? Because it's handmade noodles, which is always amazing. It's a really simple looking dish, shredded chicken, some bean sprouts, but when you pair it together with that chili and the soy sauce, so yum. Let's go in for a bite. If you've never tried Yong's hand pulled noodles, definitely have to come. Yes, noodles are so silky and smooth. That chicken soup, all that flavor. Oh, it's incredibly delicious. And I think the thing that I love the most about this dish is one, its simplicity, but two, also the comforting feeling that it gives you when you take a bite. You can tell when you've got some hand pulled noodles instantly because it has so much of that elasticness, much more than you can ever get in some mass produced noodles. The pork here is also delicious. It's been stewed for a long time. It's got the bone in, which is, you know what I like. The whole piece of meat just falls apart as soon as you bite into it. It's got that lovely flavor that starts marinating as you keep boiling the pork for longer and longer. Subtle hints of soy sauce. Yon's hand pulled noodles, it's got all the qualities of a really fantastic noodle joint. Cheap, delicious, full of flavor, another winner. Welcome to the noodle fact section. Noodles were first discovered in China around 2000 BC. It was made of this millet-like material and that's based out of the Xinjiang desert region. Did you know that October 6th is National Noodle Day and that is one day I can definitely get behind. Final fact, in 2005, instant noodles made by Nissan made their way into space and were eaten by an astronaut Soichi no Uchi. It was the first time ever that zero gravity noodles were eaten. For our final two spots, we are on Dominion Road. Now this road is famous for food and we've taken you here for a couple of other different restaurants. But today we're going to Udon Works. Finally here at Udon Works. Thank you for the recommendation, Michelle. This is actually one of the first restaurants that we've seen in Auckland that specializes just in udon. There's a little bit of a wait to actually get inside because all the udon is made to order. And we've also got a side here of agadashi tofu. And what that is, is tofu that's been covered in cornstarch or potato flour, and then it's deep fried. I'm gonna go in for one of those first. Really nice and warm on the inside, silky smooth. Now I know that this is a noodle episode, but that was really fantastic. 
It's got a really nice like teriyaki-ish kind of sauce around it. And it's also got some ginger, which provides a little bit of heat. I can't wait to get in all this actual udon now. And this is the pork kakuni, which is the pork belly udon. The broth is a little bit special. It's made from nobu, which is seaweed and also sardines. Take a sip. Ooh. It's a beautiful broth. It's not super overpowering. It's really nice and subtle flavors, and you can get that smokiness from the bonito. It's lovely. It's taken a while for New Zealand to finally get a top-notch udon place, and this is finally it. The udon here is really delicious. It's nice and subtly bouncy in your mouth, so it's quite playful. And they just have such a lovely broth flavor that's enveloping all the udons. You also get quite a hit of the scallion flavors throughout all two of these dishes so far. And now for the pork. Look at how good that looks. You don't even need teeth to bite into that. It's so soft. It's got a really nice ratio. It's like 50% fatty, 50% lean. But even the lean part is pretty soft. That's delicious. And it's got that lovely soy flavor. I have gone with a recommendation from our friend Michelle. Got here the prawn tempura udon. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but super, super crispy and crunchy. That prawn is really hot. And as Peter says, melt in your mouth. That is delicious. The soup, even though it looks very clear, a lot of dashy flavor in there. Straight away, as soon as I tasted these flavors, brought us right back to Japan. What I really like about this place is, I think the portion sizes aren't for Japanese, they're for Kiwis, so it's another plus as well. For our final stop, we're heading over to Gogo -Go Pizza Cafe. The place is easy to miss, so you just have to look out for that little sign. Dominion Road is always, always busy, especially at night for food. So, come on in. Got us the da panji, which is one of our, our favorite handmade noodles that you can get here in Auckland. And da panji means literally translation from Chinese to English, big plate of chicken. And it's originating from the Xinjiang province. Also where noodles were created, funnily enough. So the thing that we love about these noodles is they're big, they're fat, and they're flat. We're gonna mix it all up in there first. We're gonna get all the flavors into the noodles. There's a whole bunch of chicken, spring onion, potatoes, and of course you've got the chicken here as well. And it's mixed all up through a delicious spicy gravy. Let's get in for a bite now. And we're gonna follow my bite up with a bit of potato and a piece of chicken. Oh man, every single time I bite into that deliciousness, it feels so good. The noodles here are so silky smooth, and obviously it's a massive hit with the people as well because this place is fully packed and there's a huge line out the doors. Fantastic, highly recommend you check this place out. And besides from the noodles here, which pretty much everybody gets, also the skewers are massive hitters. They're always coated with a couple of spices. We're gonna get a couple to show you. My favorite is to get the pork belly and also underneath spam. <laughs> Crispy, fatty, grilled, super yummy. Super good. And when you're done, after you eat it, you just pop the stick into one of these things. I also really, really love luncheon meat. These ones here have a little bit of seasoning on them too. And they cut them up into these cute little juicy cubes. Good. For those of you who don't like offal, you don't know what you're missing out on. These little hearts are nice and squishy and at the same time a little bit chewy. The chefs have prepared these perfectly. Just a little bit of chili spice, cumin and pepper. Delicious flavor and you can definitely taste the charcoal underneath. This place is definitely very popular with the community. A lot of people like to come here, get some beers, get a tapanji, and then feast on some of these skewers as well. You can totally see why. The vibe here is pretty awesome. They sometimes have a live music band here as well. Definitely a place you're gonna wanna check out if you like your hand pool noodles. Oh, oh man, that was <laughs> delicious. I have got a noodle belly right about now. What an incredible day of noodle eating. <laughs> yeah, we hope you enjoyed some of our favorite places to get hand pulled noodles here in Auckland. Yeah, let us know which one's your favorite. And if you actually try any of these places, we would love to know about it. Leave us a comment below. Yeah, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button. Thanks so much. <laughs> Catch you next time. Catch you next time.